Here's Harris. Topside, Bancaro against Hero with three on the shot clock. He got there, but he missed it. Butler guarded by Franz Wagner, the 6'10", second-year man from Michigan. Jimmy, fade away, and the rebound on one leg to Caleb Martin. Nice pass to Lowry. Tyler Hero struggled through a rough shooting game against Boston, and then came through in the fourth quarter. Butler, a little shake and go. Bam! With a soft one. Bam out of bio gets his first score in the paint. This is Fultz. It's 21 games earlier this year with a fractured big toe. Steal by Butler. And this is Franz Wagner. Coming right at Martin. Mowed him down and missed. And here comes Bam the other way. Butler on a beeline to the basket. Plus a foul. Lane violations, just not mentally in the game as of yet. And you just got a glimpse of their talented second-year head coach. 37% shooting. He has really added that to his game. 6'10", 270-pound big man. Oh, timely cut by Caleb Martin. And Butler hit him with a bullet. Eight on the shot clock. Hero to the paint. Now Butler's turn. Off glass and down. Nicole Anthony. Only three starts this year after being a full-time starter last year, and he'll get to the free throw line. You referenced earlier getting their guards back uh, to be able to uh, get guys into normal position. That allows the scores for Wheelhouse to be able to just back down and shoot over the top. So here's the illegal defense uh, as... as uh... Eight on the shot clock. Here's Butler. Oh, missed the short flip. Knocked it away from Bull Bull, but right to Bancaro. The analytics show that extra point with the three-point conversion really moves the needle on your offensive overall output. Oh, Bull Bull. Little adventure off the dribble. Four of five overall. Magic ahead by eight again. It's Vincent missing from three. And Bam was fouled by Jalen Suggs underneath. And 36% overall shooting. And Mo Wagner got stripped and fouled by Gabe Vince. Had problems staying healthy, but if he can get there, he's another quality young player for them. The Magic ahead by nine. Hero hits another flip. Jimmy. Struess to the paint. Found Butler, who hung in the air long enough to hit. Nine points for Butler. Magic ahead by nine. They were down eight in the first quarter. Butler... Knocks it down on the move. 6'10", 270 pounds. When you look at Bancaro's at 6'10". Poor offense is because they make clutch plays when they're in a close game. Yeah, they keep it close with their defense. And then and poor offense is because they make clutch plays when they're in a close game. Yeah, they keep it close with their defense. And then... A couple of years in August of 2020. What a remarkable comeback for him. He's sitting out tonight for injury management. Butler, oh, that ends up being a three-point possession for him. Points per game uh, in the paint players in the league right now. Bam just really elevating his offensive status. Butler missing. Minute 30 left in this half. The Magic ahead by 10. Matches their biggest lead. Butler missing the three. Robinson stripped on the offensive board and then Cole Anthony. Miami regularly wins the points in the paint battle, but the inefficiency out beyond the arc makes it tough to score. Oh, that's a goaltend on Wendell Carter Jr. And that's what happens when Jimmy Butler gets that close. Butler turning his back on the smaller Cole Anthony. Oh, he missed it. Got him right where he wanted him and then missed. And the rebound finally bounces to Larry. Look at that hit ahead to shoots. Butler hammered it down. Well, Jimmy will get the highlight. Four of five from downtown. Butler missing the three. Loose ball rebound. Bancaro. Oh, he got front rim from three quarters court. Magic just six and 17 this year on the road. The Heaters 16 and nine at home. Fultz against Bam missed the reverse. And a good battle there between Lowry and Wendell Carter Jr. Kyle Lowry was scoreless in the first half. Missed all four of his shots. He'd have three assists and three boards and a couple of steals. Butler. Well, the bank still open for Jimmy. Not open for everybody, but the bank stays open late for Jimmy. Franz Wagner gets it back from Harris and fires. And the rebound to Butler. Who was the short clock? Still went to the ball fake. 
One dribble slide to the side to get that triple as the clock expired. They've lost their last three on the road by four at Utah, by three at Denver, by 20 at Washington. Here's a message from the Florida line. 22 points, six rebounds, and five assists again. And the second one stuck his way. Three-point shooting is help. He made three triples in the first half. They got three triples in the third quarter. And we're going to get a rebounding foul on the Magic. This is Cole Anthony at 17 first half points. Mo Wagner on the spin, the score, and the foul on Vincent. Oh, Mo Wagner looking very aggressive on that take. And it rolls off. He has missed all six of his shots. Cole Anthony inside. Suggs missed it, but drew a foul with eight tenths of a second left in the quarter. Max Struess going to pick up his second. Bancaro down with a rebound. 8-10 the play. Heat ahead by three. Bancaro. Oh, he. he. Jimmy Butler. 22 points through three quarters. To the dotted line, but no shot. Struess for three. Kaboom. Max Struess delivering five triples. Struess for three. Oh, too much for Max on that one. Here comes Markel Fultz. Full speed ahead. Blocked by Caleb Martin. Defensive play of the game. He with a three-point lead. Butler with the ball. Missed. Rebound of Wendell Carter Jr. Though neither Jimmy or Bam have scored for the Heat here in the fourth quarter. Bancaro against Hero. Coming hard. Blocked by Bam. Another great defensive play. Two blocks in a row for Miami. Bam down runway for the score. And that's the call. Hey. Wagner comes in strong, and Franz Wagner has drawn another foul on Miami. Butler gets a screen from Van. Six on the shot clock. Here comes Caleb on the move for the score. Six fourth quarter points for Caleb Martin. Jimmy comes right. Gets a screen from Van. Working against Carter. Unbelievable finish. Jimmy comes right. It's the screen from Ben. Working against Carter. Tough shot. Oh. Drops. Pulls a foul. Unbelievable finish. Got 24 points, six assists, five rebounds. This is an important one, too. Make it a two possession game, does Jimmy with a four point. Jimmy Butler with 40 seconds left in the game. Changes directions into the paint for the one hander that drops. Jimmy Butler with a five-point fourth quarter and a 27-point night. Gets it to Harris. This is Bancaro. Forces one up against Butler. An air ball and a foul on Butler. And he missed the second. Rebound the hero with a heat ahead by three. 25 seconds left in the game, and Butler just got pushed out of bounds and fouled by Wendell Carter Jr., and that will foul him out of this. Uh, a, a make and then a follow-up opportunity. Oh, that's the first. This to make it a four-point lead. Very important free throw. And he makes that one. Heat up four, 13 seconds left. This is Bancaro, a pull-up three. Bangs off, rebound to Butler, and that should do it. Jimmy gets fouled in the backcourt with just under five seconds left. Shots, but also get to that free throw line and make those important free throws, set your defense, and get stops. I did mention they were 13-2 and two this year in games where they carried a lead into the fourth quarter. Tonight, they need about score them 37-26 to 26 in the fourth quarter. Hopefully one final defensive possession. No fouls here, a steal by Butler, and that will do it. The Heat defeat the Magic with a fourth quarter comeback. 110 to 105.